Hi and welcome back. This is episode 8 of The Glory Days and we are on a quest to win anything with Fiorentina. Since you were last with us and we drew our crucial top 5 ties of both of them, we have made some small movements in the transfer market. We have continued to offload our deadweight. So Gabrielle Fogley is the newest youngster to head out. We have some news though on a loan transfer. We brought in David Fratizi. He's more of a backup to give us a bit of fresh legs, um, add a bit of new impetus into the second half of the season. Two and a half star current potential. However, he does have three and a half star potential. We don't have an option to buy in the current deal because it was going to be too expensive. They're looking for between 13 and 14 million for this point in the season. We may look at bringing him in in the future. We do have another loanee who is on his way. Abdul Karim Kamara is going to be joining us on loan initially, but we have an option to buy at the end of the season for 3.5 million. His stats look okay. You could do the sort of off the ball and work rate being a bit higher, same with orientation. But he's only 17, so he's got plenty of time to work on these mental stats. At the moment, his physical stats are good though, and the same with his technical stats. So he can play in that advanced forward role. Doesn't look like he's best place to play the press and forward at the moment. Again, not to say that he won't be. So we have him coming in. Again, it's with the option to buy. He'll be coming in, I believe it's on the 21st. So we've got a few days to wait on him. Another week. And that leads us nicely into the game that we'll be playing, which is Empley. These are a bottom of the table side. They're sitting in 18th. Um, we really need to be winning this to keep up the pressure, as always. Lazio are trying to run away with it. And for this game, we'll be going with a squad of Tchaikovsky and Goal, who's just received his new contract. We have him tied down until 2026. Buragi at left back. Bikau, centre back. Milenkovic again. He returns to the team after an injury. Audrey Zola on the right. Twera holding that deep line playmaker role. Polgar, Castrovilli, our strongest midfield. Yanislai on right. Boraventure on the left and Vlavic up front leading the line. They are a bottom of the table side, but we want to make sure that we're winning every game that we can. I'd like to see us go out there, go at it fast from the beginning and try and secure the points straight away. We're also at home. We were away in our previous two games, which we drew. So won three games, drawn two in our last five. In play, have won two, lost two and drawn one. Currently five points behind Lazio. Got the ball in there for an early opportunity. So we'll be given a penalty. It's been awarded. We have a great chance here within two minutes to take the initiative. Polgar steps up and scores. I'm not sure if Polgar's missed any this season. Seventh goal and might have all been from penalties. So within two minutes, we've got the initiative. We can build on the confidence now, score a few more goals. We could really do that. A bit, little bit of confidence rebuilding after the two draws. Teams playing well. Audrey Zola, Milankovic, Bikal, all above seven. Polgar as well. Yanazai on the right, above seven. We've had 12 shots, so six of them have been on target, but only one of those highlights has been worth showing. And at half time, we haven't allowed Empley into the game whatsoever. I'd like to see us really push on now and get those goals in the second half. And we head back out. It's Empley who have an attack here, and Ricky has scored a wonder strike from. Almost the middle of our half. And the game's back on now. We really can't afford to draw this game. We have made a couple of changes. Gonzalez is coming on the left. And Patagna is coming on for Vlavic. Who's not been at his best. Bragi with a chance now. He goes down the left hand side. Been taken down by Ricky. Who's already on a yellow card. And he's been sent off. Going to push everything we've got. Audrey Zola now coming on the attack. He comes down. Got plenty of space. He's making it all the way around. He gets in a cross. Gonzalez. We just can't put it in the back of the net. Braggy picks it up again, but it's gone. Midfielder off. We have two strikers up now. Gone to a 4 2 4. We're we'll trying to win this game. Audrey Zola has the opportunity to get the ball in. It's well defended in the end. And Gonzalez nicked it in front of the goalkeeper and we secure the points in what is the 89th minute. Vicario made a huge mistake there. 
Well, actually, the mistake came from Parisi, who passed it back to his goalkeeper when Gonzalez is in such a good spot to nick it. And he just turns around and puts it in back of the net. It's 2-1. And we've managed to see that game out. That's a crucial three points for us. We could do absolutely nothing about the wonder strike, which they scored. But to nick that one right at the end of the game shows that going for it, very attacking. 4 2 4 has really got us the points there. And it's Gonzalez who had just moved up to the striker position who's got it. I've got to put a bit of praise there because we really needed those three points. Juve only managed to draw with Genoa. That's the second time I've seen Genoa manage a little bit of an upset. And uh, Chelsea have just come in for. Tiny offer for Milenkovic. There's no way Milenkovic is going for 16.5 million. He's incredibly interesting going to Chelsea, but certainly not for that money. They're going to have to offer me 120 million. Milenkovic was a bit unhappy about the decision we made to block his move to Chelsea, but it was not enough money, and uh, we've managed to smooth it over with promise of Champions League football again, same as we did for Martinez, and that's going to keep him happy for now. And Lazio only managed to draw with Verona, which leaves us three points behind them. And we've caught up by a couple of points there. We're doing really well with the board's expectations. And it's up to me to make sure that we don't flounder against AC Milan in this cup match. Monteno has just signed for Salernitana. It's a very small sum of money. I think we got 50k for him. Again, his report was saying... It was anywhere between one and a half and three and a half stars. He could have come good. But at 19 years old, his stats didn't really look that great at the moment. So I've decided to let him go for that sum. I'm holding out firm on Baragi, but he really um he really wants to go. Okay, so for the Milan game, we have gone with the formation of Dragovski in goal, Baragi at left back, Martinez and Milinkovic team up again. Audrey Zola at right back, Polgar falls into the deep line, play make a role, Kostrovoli moves into grill position and Kronich plays the box box midfielder. Yanzai and Bonaventura and then Vlaovic leading the line. The changes to this part of midfield were made due to Torreira having the red card from the previous cup match as he built up too many yellows so I've had to make a little bit of adjustment here. This We haven't actually played this way um, in the entire season. Normally we don't have cars to really move over to this sort of role. So this is going to be a bit of a test. And here we go for a Milan game. There's not many people turned up for this cup match. That's one empty stadium. Bragi with the corner. Milinkovic almost gets in there for his first goal since coming back from injury. Played around 20 minutes played. We look the stronger team. More likely to score. Losing a lot of possession though. That's normal. Milinkovic again comes in and he does score. Two games back from injury, he's got his goal. He's absolutely crucial to how we play. He's making those set pieces as dangerous as they are. He just towers above them, moves a little bit away from the defenders, gets that space and scores. Milan with an opportunity here. Tenali plays it out wide. They've got plenty of space to get this cross in. Brahim, Tenali. Back to Brahim, he turns to the byline, gets the ball in, and they equalise. And we're off straight away from the restart. Baragi's got it off to Polgar. Martinez are playing it around the back. But Ventura has the ball stolen from him. Goalkeeper plays it to Milenkovic. Play around each other. Martinez brings it forward with the run. Bonaventura now, back to Martinez. Martinez plays a great ball down to Baragi. He gets to the byline and Vlaovic hits the post. It's been quite an exciting first half, which we have edged, not in terms of possession, but we have edged it in terms of shots and shots on target. Sent the same team back out to try and take this tie. Vlaovic has to come off though. He is played his full game. Doesn't have the legs to keep going. Yanzai also 
and the changes are Gonzalez on for Yanazai and Patagna comes on for Vlavic. Milan have an opportunity. Goes out to Lau. Bakioko to Tanali. Tanali scores with a thunder strike. This has always been my concern we hit Milan um, before the quarterfinals that they would be the ones that knocked us out. We have an opportunity though, we're back in the corner. Patagna with a chance there to equalise, puts it over. We're starting to get extremely tired now. But we have to go for this game. So we're going to go back to our trusted 2-4 formation. Bring Gonzalez on. We're going to have to do this, so I'm sure although he's tired, he's old. We're going to have to go with Soto on the right. Move Gonzalez into that attacking forward position. Patagna in target forward. We're going to have to go all out attacking once this is over. Can't afford to just sit back and give this up. We've got another chance here. And the cross comes in from the corner. It's back out. Bonaventura picks it up again. Back in to really Milankovic. Milankovic shoots and scores. That is his second goal. Back. Second goal in this game. Come from our central defender. It's been absolutely crucial. Our strikers haven't been in the game. But he has. And he's made the difference. We're back to 2-2. Two -two. Goal kick from Milan goes all the way to Milankovic. Now we've got Kronich who plays a great ball through its salt. Can we win this at the end? Cross comes in Bonaventura and it's a great save by the Milan goalkeeper. Bonaventura gets this ball in. We don't get the header though. Out to Baraghi. And that's the highlight over it. We've got a last ditch corner here. Patagna in and he had the opportunity. Hits the bar. We are going at this extra time absolutely knackered. To Kronich. Martinez, Milankovic, Audrey Zola now. Audrey Zola runs forward, he gets the ball in, Soto scores. It's 3 2. Straight away from the kickoff for this extra time. Soto puts it in the back of the net. Milankovic evolved again, it comes down our right wing. Audrey Zola. Pfizer and plays a great through ball. Soto well on side gets that in the back of the net. Milan will have an opportunity. Giroud, Rebic. Oh, it's a great through ball. The defense is tiring. And Florenzi hits the post. A little bit of luck was on our side there. We can make an additional sub. We can make that additional sub. So Fratese is going to come on and give us a, some fresh legs in midfield. Play that ball winning midfielder role. Hopefully keep Milan quiet. We have another chance from the corner. It doesn't reach anyone. Gostrovoli plays it back. Drakowski. Just keep the ball, guys. Mardinez comes forward. Bonaventura. Wild, wild shot from outside the box. The subs have been made. Milan, though, have an opportunity here. Patagna wins the ball, though. Soto, Frutese through to Patagna. And Patagna scores. 4-2 in extra time. We're now going to try and control this match. There's no need to keep those tired legs going. Milan have an opportunity to Rebic. Martinez is there though. He intercepts. Theo gets a header through to Florenzi. Goalkeeper saved it, but Florenzi almost got a second opportunity to put that in the back of the net. And after that dramatic game where we had 24 shots, 10 on target, Milan had 12, 4 on target, we've managed to get through to the quarterfinals, achieve our aims for the season of a quarterfinal, and keep our position as manager of Fiorentina as tenable. They really did dig in there, and uh, we needed it. Um, the new signing had a little bit of his um, opportunity. To be 2-1 down, 
just after 6 to 5 minutes to then score 3 goals, 2 of them coming in extra time. Got to be happy with that. And Milenkovic absolutely was the inspiration to lead us through that game. How anyone would think he's going anywhere for less than 20 million is beyond me. And our loan for Kamara has been secured. We have the option to buy him for 3.7 million in the future. Um, the fan reaction is re extremely disappointed, although his potential is great. And I think that he's going to come good. So we will ignore the fans on that one. I think this is where we'll leave this episode. We will come back in the next one uh, for a game against Atalanta. Probably followed by the game against Milan. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. We are still coming towards the end of January. We have time to make a few more possibly loan signings for the future. Um, let me know your thoughts on the transfers which we have, the transfer offers which we have received. Would you sell Buragi right now if you could get a bit over 20 million? Same goes for Milenkovic, our best defender by far, absolute star player. 16 million is nowhere near enough for him. What would be your, what would be the sum that you would accept to let him go? And if you're enjoying this series, Please subscribe. These videos come every weekday at 4.30. Subscribe to the channel and you'll get a notification. So thanks guys. I'll see you in the next episode.